Um, my name is Luke Nichter. I'm an associate professor of history at Texas A&M University, Central Texas. And my background is primarily, a, I'm a historian of the, the, the Nixon era, uh, broadly conceived of. So from the sort of 1950s to 1970s, I've spent most of the past decade, most of my time, really listening to and transcribing uh, Richard Nixon's secret White House tapes. Well, I'm working on the first full biography, sort of cradle to grave, so to speak, of Henry Cabot Lodge, Jr. And at least so far, I think uh, I, can, I can state accurately that Lodge played uh, the leading role to get Eisenhower to run for the presidency, which was a, an, an avalanche for history. He was the central figure in, in getting uh, increasing American military involvement in Southeast Asia. He was a central figure to helping Nixon run for the presidency. So never really desiring the top job for himself, he was behind the scenes, as often for Democrats as Republicans, because he was a very central, uh, centrist, liberal Republican himself. He believed in kind of the chain of command. He served a long time in the Army. He served in foreign service posts. And I think very different from today, when, when, politi when politics, I mean, nothing could stay secret today, with Twitter and social media. And Lodge went to his grave with a number of important secrets from his life and times. He didn't, he never wrote the tell-all memoir. He never cooperated with a biographer uh, during his lifetime. And so I think, in a way, a figure like Lodge couldn't exist today. It wouldn't be possible. Well, I think one of the greatest impacts that Lodge had on, on modern politics and American politics was, a, a, as he said it in the early 1950s, reestablishing a two-party state in the United States. Republicans had been shut out of the White House since the 1930s, when Franklin Roosevelt first won. And Lodge, perhaps the most important thing he ever did in his career, was he appealed to General Eisenhower, then the head of NATO in Paris, that you must return home, you must run for office, and you must run as a Republican. I think perhaps his most important contribution as he saw it to the American political system was to rebalance power in Washington, which had been completely dominated by one party for 20 years. A whole generation of Americans had only known one party in power. Well, I think one of the things that, that's most interesting about Lodge is so many turning points in his career are still questions today in the history. Uh, there's still mystery over why Eisenhower returned and ran for president. There's mystery about how Nixon got on the ticket. There's in 1952. There's a mystery about how Lodge got on the ticket with Nixon in 1960, running against Kennedy and Johnson. And part of this is because the records weren't available. Part of it's because Lodge never wrote a memoir. And so kind of throughout Lodge's whole career, we continue to have important question marks in our history. And so finally having a proper biography with all of the available documentation, I think is going to fill in a lot of questions in the history books.